I just wasn't thinking about game manuals, basically, and it kind of got me thinking. It works as kind of a metaphor for holy books. When you read the game manual, and I think any gamer, anyone who's really played just a couple of video games, will be able to tell you this. You read the manual, if you even do that, and then you play the game, and then you realize how it actually is. You know, the manual might be like the glorified idea of what it is, or you might be reading something and saying, how, how does that work? And, you, know, you have to try it for yourself. You know, when you play the game, you realize how it actually is. And I think that really works, as, you know, if the manual is a holy book and the game is life, the game of life, you read the holy book which has some descriptions about how you should live and how life works, and then you try real life and you see how well these descriptions actually work. You see how life actually is. It's very dangerous when you have something written, excuse me, written down that people have to follow, regardless of how possible this even is, let alone if the rule is you know, ridiculous or anything. Whenever there is something like this, either it is accepted. Either people say, you know what, we can all agree, we can't do this. It's just not gonna happen. Or people pretend that they're doing it. They put on the facade of, oh, we're doing this. You better believe we're doing this. And it, it has maybe everyone, or at least many, many people, miserable over why can't I do this well enough? You know, why can't I live up to this ideal that it said? And while motivation and, you know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing when someone, every time someone thinks that they should be doing something better. Sometimes it might be kind of true, you know, it might be appropriate for them to just apply a little bit more effort. But when, let's say 95% of the people in this society are feeling like they're not doing well enough, then you have to just realize and accept there is no doing well enough. None of them can do it. You're just making these people miserable. You're just, they're just feeling awful about something they can't help because none of them can do it. And either there is something that can be done to make sure that they can do it, or it just can't happen. And when, that, when the latter is the case, a change is necessary. You have to just admit nobody here is able to do this. So we just you have to change that rule. The problem is that religion doesn't encourage sharing the, you know, tough stuff. It basically says, if you can't do it, you're not good enough, you know. Or there's something, you know, I mean, granted you can confess, but it's still, you're supposed to still strive for this potentially unreachable thing or status or whatever. And it it tends to end up with people just not admitting it to anyone other than themselves. You know, censorship and a lack of communication. If you can't just tell someone else, I have a problem with this, then your problem 
is not likely to get solved. So yeah.